Hey, kindergarten. This is Mrs. Whaley, and I'm going to introduce Mr. Whaley. He's going to read you the story today. All right, Mr. Whaley. Hello, kindergarten. I'm going to be reading a story today called Big Black Bear, and it's written and illustrated by Wong Herbert Yee. Big Black Bear came out from the wood, stuck his nose in the air, sniffed something good. Followed that scent from tree to tree, down to the city where he shouldn't be. Shuffling along on four furry feet to a brown brick house on Sycamore Street. Big Black Bear knocked upon the door. Little girl asked, Who are you looking for? I'm tired and hungry, whined Big Black Bear. Give me some food and a big, soft chair. Come in, please. Wipe your paws on the mat. I'm a Big Black Bear. I don't have to do that. He plopped in a chair, put his paws on the wall, leaned too far, and began to fall. Tipped the piano, came down with a crack. Big Black Bear fell flat on his back. You're a big, bad bear with no manners at all. Big Black Bear just skipped down the hall. Into the kitchen so he could try homemade bread and fresh baked pie. Little girl said, please use a dish. I'm a Big Black Bear and I do as I wish. He went into the pantry, but didn't get far. Came out with his snout in a jelly bean jar. Pulled and pushed, but couldn't get it off. Big Black Bear began to sneeze and cough. He sneezed that jar right off of his face. Jelly beans flew all over the place. That must have made a really big mess. Cover your mouth when you cough and sneeze. I'm a big black bear, and I do as I please. So, little girl, don't try to run away. I'm still hungry and want you to stay. I've eaten other girls, and now I'll eat you. A voice cried out, Not! A nice thing to do. Little girl turned, and to her surprise, in came a bear that was twice the size of Big Black Bear, now quiet as a mouse, hiding in a corner of the brown brick house. Little Black Bear shouldn't tell lies. Come over here and apologize. I'm very sorry. Please excuse me. I'm a little black bear who just turned three. Little black bear cleaned up his mess, then walked over to confess. I'm still hungry. May I please have some pie? Of course you can, and I'll tell you why. I think you learned a lesson today, to mind your manners when you go out to play. And the next time you wander out from the wood, be sure to visit my neighborhood.
the end. I hope you enjoyed Big Black Bear as I did. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, kindergarten, just remember, use your manners.